So if you are at all familiar with Linux, you know that it has a live bootable mode or a live mode where you can basically boot the operating system from a USB stick directly and use it. Well, today I want to show you how you can do the same thing with Windows 2. Well, yes, you could install it on an SSD and plug that into a free SATA slot. You don't really have access to every PC's internals. So that can come in handy, especially, for example, when like a friend or family member has problems with viruses or adware on their PC and they can't do anything. Uh, that's a pretty nice thing to do when you have that and can just plug the USB stick in, boot from there and clean the PC straight from there and still access the data that's on the other drives. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So this feature works best with an external SSD as a USB stick can be relatively slow. So I'm showing it with a relatively slow USB stick that you so that you see what it's what it can be like uh, or with a very fast use fast usb stick or sd card like this one so there are a few things you have to do or have to download first of all you need a windows 11 iso you can get that in the link in the description or with the windows media creation tool although in the link in the description that's also the microsoft site and there you can download the iso and you also you also will need rufus to create that USB stick that you can boot off of. After you have downloaded the ISO and, and, and started uh, Rufus, you have to select your USB device and at the same time the ISO. So basically those two things. And well, then there's not much you have to do other than just start the install. You could select if it was a UFI install, which it has to be on Windows 11 anyway. If you want to do it on Windows 10, you should be able to select it maybe. On newer systems, you obviously have to select UFI as that is the newer BIOS standard. About the partition scheme, well, GPT is fine and you don't need to do anything else other than that. You basically can start the process. What I would recommend is to leave the um, box that prevents the access to other drives unchecked. For example, if you want to use this as a virus uh, or, or a PC cleaning or virus cleaning tool or whatever, so that you can have access on the other PAL systems or the other drives that are connected to that PC. Otherwise, you have a few options that can be relevant. You can automatically create a user and there's also the possibility to, for example, skip the uh, Windows account creation and skip the uh, tracking features. And other than that, I'm just going to click on start and it's going to create the USB stick for me. It's going to install it automatically. And when I plug in the USB stick on the PC, which I'm going to do now and show you how that is going to work. To access the boot menu, depending on your manufacturer of your PC or motherboard, you have to press uh, one key at the well when the PC starts. Uh, on Asus motherboards or PCs, for example, that should be the F8 key, and then the boot menu should pop up. If you don't have any other devices, storage devices connected other than the USB stick on that a uh, Windows is installed, then it should probably automatically start from that. But uh, if you have, for example, other SSDs, other hard drives installed, then you probably have to use the boot menu. Once you have selected the correct boot device, so that should be the USB stick in that case, you just press enter or exit the UFI and then the PC should boot into Windows. The Windows install should kind of look like a normal Windows install, although there might be one or two error messages depending on how the uh, system is set up. And if there are, for example, isn't a Windows account set up or whatever, but as for functionality goes, there's nothing different than to a normal Windows installation. So you can pretty much do anything you would do with a regular Windows install 
although it is external and you can take it anywhere. There are some issues though you have to remember because some drivers can interfere with other hardware. So for example, on the AMD Ryzen Master Utility, if that is installed and you try to start that Windows uh, install on a Intel system, for example, that install will not boot and it will run into a Intel blue screen and uh, it will spit out an error message that says that the uh, Ryzen Master is preventing Windows from starting. So you have to consider that and that can happen with some other uh, drivers or programs, for example. If you want to basically use this on many different PCs, it is important or it is recommended to not install a lot of software that can uh, influence hardware, um, so like drivers and stuff. Otherwise, that's it for this video and for how to use or how to create a Windows to go installation, whether it is Windows 10 or Windows 11, doesn't really matter, process is actually the same. And um, yeah, otherwise I wish you a nice day and goodbye.